so we're gearing up to start our first or our sixth season of Shave Ice and and my focus this year is really to automate. Um, I want to be as little involved as possible and have uh, my employees know how to do it all and, and everything. So we've, we've set up some processes. So we, we want to make sure that our employees, we want to train them to know everything that we do. We're, we want to make sure they know how to make flavors on their own and syrup, uh, simple syrup, cream. We know they know what to clean and, and everything and, and how to make sure that there's smaller bills in the cash drawer at the end of the day and, and things like that to kind of automate it so that I don't have to be here. We did get rid of our soft serve machine. It, it broke, so we cut our losses and sold it as is and and decided to just not do it because it was more, more headache than it was worth. I feel like it was something that they wouldn't know how to clean it out or it wasn't mixing right. And so I had to come in and, and retrain them quite frequently and it wasn't worth my, my time, you know. And, and this year I kind of want to be uh, less involved. So So what we've done, over the past few years is we have uh, our employees sign up for their own shift. So we hire six uh, shave ice people and then um, we put out the calendar and there's 12 shifts a week. So they each get two, two shifts and they can kind of fill out and, and sign up their own, the days that they want. That way um, it's kind of their responsibility and, and they signed up so, so they should show up. And that's worked out really good for us because they get to pick their own hours. We hire like 15 year olds, uh, so they they want to work, <laughs> and they actually want to be here and, and are are pretty involved in everything and, and do a good job and want to do a good job. Automation, I feel like, is what what I want to focus on this year. And if I can get them to know how to do it all, and I don't really have to do much besides buying the product and and making sure people are, are showing up. That's that's kind of what I want to do. So what we've done is we've got rid of the soft serve machine and I actually added a mini fridge up here so we can put our cream in there. And some of the other things for, for automation is have two machines. So if one breaks down or sometimes the foot pedals get a little water on them and it trips the breaker so they can just switch over to the other one and it doesn't they don't have to call me and I don't have to worry about it and can deal with it when I'm here and don't really have to be involved too much. Get rid of the soft serve machine because it was, uh, the V-Bore machine broke. It had an electrical problem. I couldn't quite figure it out. So I sold it and actually was, was happy about that just cause ice cream, it didn't bring enough revenue in to make it worth it. And so I just put a, a mini fridge up here to put our sweet cream in and and was thinking about doing some cream flavors. But I wanted to kind of more simplify things. I have two machines, so if one were to break or um, something happens, the person could just switch machines. And Another thing be... that automation does is it frees up uh, your time so you can pursue other opportunities. Like if you have a brick and mortar store and it's automated, then you can go to events and you can run them if you don't have people to be there and and it frees up your time for other opportunities.